Welcome to Sportsy. Let's talk sports. After talking to so many athletes and administrators, as well as few entrepreneurs in sports technology, we have somebody with us who is being a avid sportsman who has played volleyball at state and national level and kept his winning attitude beyond his playing days. He, we are not going to talk to him about his playing career. We are going to talk to him about his entrepreneurial career and the journey that he had, starting his first company just after schooling, finishing his schooling. The company today has over 120 employees. It's an award-winning multi-platform games company. It developed game for wireless console, online gaming platform, and is working with top game publisher, handset manufacturer, Hollywood studios, and mobile operators across the world. In 2001, Business Today featured our today's guest, Vishal Gondal, founder of Goki, among the top 40 entrepreneurs of India. Vishal is a frequent speaker at gaming and wireless technology conferences. But before, before founding Goki, the first company that he had, he sold that company to Disney. And after selling that company, he was heading all gaming and digital operations for Disney India. He heads the Mumbai chapter for International Game Developers Association. He is a part of Nokia Advisory Council for Games and advises Nokia on gaming technologies. Today, he's passionately working on making a permanent shift to a healthier lifestyle with a combination of advanced wearable technologies, world's leading experts, coaches, and your karma. Today we have with us Vishal Gondal, founder of Goki. Let's talk sports, fitness, and entrepreneurship with Vishal Gondal. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. And thank you for sharing. But please do subscribe on our channel, Sports C Says, and help us spread the word about Sports C, Let's Talk Sports. We go with the same handle, Sports C Says, across all social media platforms. Do subscribe to Sports C Says and help us spread the word. Hi, Vishal. Uh, great to have you on Sports C. Let's Talk Sports. Absolutely. Uh, or shall we say, let's talk about games, let's talk about uh, fitness, and let's talk about entrepreneurship. I think it's a great journey that we we know uh, for the viewers. Uh, Vishal uh, is a founder of Goki, one of the biggest uh, wearable product in India. But before that, he's had a phenomenal journey with gaming, ha having his own company just out of college at the age of 16, got that company acquired, by a big company, sold it to Disney, headed head Disney's games, and it's it's a glorious career. So, uh, uh, Vishal, my first question to you, because instead of me giving this introduction, my first question to you is, you started your career with gaming at the age of uh, 16. And uh, after that, the fact became India Games, India Games became, uh, became Disney. And you were, uh, you, you came into the, uh, the Business Today feature as the top 20 entrepreneurs in the country. How was that how were those days, how were those years been? So I would say that even before India game, uh, sports was a big part of my life. I was a national level volleyball player. I used to play in my school days uh, as well as in my college. I was all about uh, sports. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, I give a lot of credit to all the managerial skills I learned to the world of sports because... Uh, sports is one area which teaches you three important things. One is to fail because in, you know, in sports, you do not win every match you play and, you know, you, you have more losers than victories. And uh, in a typical environment of uh, uh, school where, you know, everybody is winning and scoring high marks, I thought sports gave me the opportunity to experience how to lose. But at the same time, I also experienced how to motivate a team even when you are losing and how to keep their morale high. And also, uh, especially in team sports, it was about managing professors and school and coach. And, you know, those were the early days of sports itself where the whole sports organization was not as organized as today. Right. So uh, being the captain of the team, uh, I had to organize a lot of things for various people. I still remember that we used to actually go an hour before our playground. And actually, we used to water the entire field. Yes. I so, remember, yeah. you know, 
that you were not just a player you had to also prepare the field you had to also mark the ground use that you know that that uh, chalk and chuna and you were putting the lines you were putting the net it's not like today where you know my my son who plays football and you know where everything is ready and he just has to go and start kicking the ball and then he comes back uh, they have absolutely no idea uh, of what is it to be a sportsman so i would say my foundation was sports and uh, gaming was again my passion i was making games and playing games and that's what led me to create india games and uh, you know since this entire channel is all about sports uh, i i'm glad to see that now there is so much focus of sports and fitness around the country the government of course is doing so much with uh, the sports authority of india with what's happening uh with the sports ministry and this is the first time where we have such a huge squad going to the olympics so hopefully next year uh, with the uh, the japan olympics which got moved uh so so i really believe that uh, sports has played an important role wow and uh, i think the the way you you uh, interlinked your entrepreneurship early stage to your learning from the sports field i think as uh, as we we have we have read many places right the sports is the greatest teacher and and the field is the biggest biggest classroom that you can get i think uh, aligning that uh, to your journey is so amazing uh, you started the gaming uh, company and then a uh, few years back you came with the with goki and uh, it is it, it was a great success it is it's amazing we uh, get to hear see about the the unique model that goki had with the coaches and everything so from gaming to fitness uh, to founding the first ever wearable company uh, in india goki and uh, which is dedicated to enabling the permanent shift to a healthier lifestyle uh, last time when we met you spoke about how you are looking at uh, the whole india to acquire this to the fit india movement and all those things like there are multiple things that you do so how did you actually think about starting something on the wearable side and uh, which areas of goki focus on the fitness as a lifestyle so what i realized was that there is billions of dollars spent in healthcare uh, there are all these amazing doctors pharmaceutical companies but still the amount of patients are growing there is more diabetics so the it just doesn't seem to be that all the investment in healthcare is actually working and the reason it is not working is because people are trying to take shortcuts they don't want to be healthy they don't want to eat healthy they don't want to exercise and they believe that by just eating one pill i will get okay that is not the case right. and what i realized was the reason healthcare was not working is the boring and at the same time uh, what people lack in healthcare is not information but motivation uh you don't want to go to a doctor i mean especially in the covid time you want to avoid visiting a hospital a doctor and all these things so the question really is that uh, with with this model of healthcare which was what i call not consumer centric i came from the gaming world which was all about fun entertainment and motivation so my idea was how can i bring my knowledge of gaming into the world of health and fitness and that is what goki is in fact goki for all practical purposes is a game and in fact we call our users players so you are not a patient or a consumer you are a khiladi uh, in the game of goki and of course we have akshay kumar the khiladi of the country also with us correct the attitude what we have and we want our users to have is to be of a khiladi or a player uh, in this game of life and the only way to win this game of life is to leveling up keep leveling up yourself nice. and the way you level up is by improving your activity levels by improving your sleep levels by improving your cognition levels by improving your mind so the idea is uh, we have gamified the whole experience with giving you you know karma points and goki cash and uh, the entire experience of being healthy is not only incentivized but motivating for people uh, to play it like a game and wearables is just the tool to collect data the way we think about wearables wearable in itself is of no use it just a means to learn uh, in fact i compare it a lot again to the gaming business like console like playstation or xbox xbox and playstation dabbe mein 
कोई फायदा नहीं है इनफैक्ट वॉट द मनी इज मेड बाई दीज गेम्स विच यू प्ले इन फैक्ट बोथ सोनी एंड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट लूज मनी वेन दे सेल यू अ कॉन्सोल uh so that's i mean uh, that was the model so for us the variable is just like a console we give you right but the real game is the game of life wow and uh, i think that is what uh, i'm sure that is what made you the top 40 entrepreneurs in india the company should look forward to or people look forward to because the way you look at the problem it's, it's, i'm saying the way you looked at the problem was not considering as the we need to look at improving the health and there are patients and all this you just considered as a game and made them players and gave them different tasks to improve themselves i think i understand so i think that is the mentality or that's a approach towards the problem is what made you different that's exactly and like i told you our vision with goki is that we are going to be the biggest healthcare company without giving you a single medicine so our medicine is motivation correct excellent i think and uh, uh who better can than akshay kumar who can become the partner and and a brand ambassador and uh, uh is the biggest khiladi and the guy who people can swear by his fitness levels and the way he maintains his life uh, i think that's a lifestyle you're talking about so coming to the lifestyle uh, how do you think the fit india and india shift towards being fit is actually helping the whole fitness and the health industry so for the first time we had a government who said we believe in preventive health care we believe in ayush we believe in fitness movement and when the prime minister launched fit india he was like while ministry of sports is making sports people perform what about the rest of the country so fit india was a platform which was provided to make the entire country fit and i think this is the first time like i said right where we have a government who's saying i want to invest in wellness i want to invest in fitness and uh, i think and again the time couldn't have been better you know with the lockdown and the whole uh, corona virus yeah what people are talking about is immunity what people are talking about is mental health what people are talking about is lack of physical activity so i think uh, you know somewhere uh, like they say right that the entire universe was conspiring uh, for us and fit india and for all the people in the fitness industry to now come forward with their solution because the whole world is looking for it right so i i think that that is and uh, having the government who is also talking about the similar uh, mindset or lifestyle that uh, what uh, goki's uh, fundamental uh, approach is so when you started started this i'm sure you had your vision about uh, what the fit india so fit india became a brand uh, after our prime minister or prime minister launched it but till then you had a vision about how to make it a viral and how to make india fit so what your vision about fit india what is your ideology so my vision about fit india is that every person taking the responsibility of their own fitness i think the challenge right now is ki sabko lagta hai ki ha mere ko fit karana to ye government ka kaam hai ya mere ka company ka kaam hai ya mere society ka kaam hai ya mere parents ka kaam hai it is your work so i think people have to take accountability of their own health that is most important and the second thing is just the way people are today maintaining a credit score because they know ki agar credit score acha nahi hai to mere ko loan nahi milega loan nahi milega to aage you know so how your credit score can impact your entire financial world mm mm-hmm. your health score can impact your entire health and health is wealth at the end of the day right so i mean there is no credit score without health score so i think people have to start realizing this and we are again launching our own version of the health scoring model because like i said right health is wealth aapke paas karodo rupaye honge lakho rupaye honge but if you are going to be you know having diabetes hypertension and all these issues you will become a vegetable soon right right so uh, i think this is again very well said about health. health is wealth and you have to look at start investing towards your health i think that is what one of the thing goki is helping for mainly for uh, enthusiast or the recreational uh, uh, athletes how do you think it can make a impact uh, uh, or or i'm sure it must be already doing it but how do you think it can make a impact in the sports tech industry the professional athletes uh, getting benefited out of it so our customer segment is not even the recreational athlete our customer is the couch potato Ah, okay. Our average customer is the person who 
बोलता है कि अरे मेरे को एक्सरसाइज करना है जो फर्स्ट जनवरी को जिम ज्वाइन करेगा दस पंद्रह दिन जाके छोड़ देगा जिसने डाइट भी किया होगा कोई यू नो कोई बाबा रामदेव का वीडियो देख के कोई उसने काढ़ा भी पिया होगा सब कुछ किया होगा एंड दे फेल सो आर एवरेज कंज्यूमर इज अउच पटेटो एंड दैट्स वॉट यू आर फेस Uh, right now we are about to enter what i call the performance space so one is an average person getting active and the second is a active person improving their performance so we are in the process of developing programs for them uh, and we are working with some of the top coaches of india we are working with the sports authority etc so we will have some platforms and some products for let's say olympic athletes also Okay. but that's under development uh, our bigger focus was to go to the south potatoes right now right so yeah i think it is uh, uh, the way on online fitness has picked up so much because the gymming is for the people who are already dedicated or already motivated the 99% of the world is still not and that's where the whole and not just that gymming actually works on those 99% paying fees and not coming to the gym. <laughs> जिम मॉडल का फंडामेंटल प्रॉब्लम यही है कि आपके पास पांच ट्रेडमिल है आपने 500 मेंबरशिप बेच दी अगर 500 के 500 आ गए तो आपकी ट्रेडमिल तो खाली पांच ही लोग हैं सो द जिम बिजनेस वर्क्स ऑन द फैक्ट दैट ओनली यू नो 10% और 20% पीपल विल टर्न अप अदरवाइज द जिम बिजनेस वुड गो सो द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द जिम मॉडल इज दैट इट एक्चुअली डिपेंड्स ऑन पीपल्स रिजिडेंस सो माय ओके माय before moving to uh, the segment of gaming uh, i want to have ask one question where do you see goki going from here like i said our vision is to be the biggest healthcare company okay because we believe healthcare is self current healthcare is sick care true healthcare is about prevention uh, true healthcare is about people taking their health in their own hands and goki is creating the perfect ecosystem so we have wearables we have apps we have coaches we have doctors we have everything it takes for you to remain fit and healthy nice so that you don't have to ever go to a doctor or a hospital okay so and how do you think the mental health is being taken care of by goki so we look at health in a holistic way okay health is not just about physical fitness health is not just about uh, nutrition so if you look at our framework we call it the longevity framework logical so it is not just about we believe that the foundation of good health actually is sleep if you don't have good sleep yeah everything else is impacted after sleep comes nutrition and then we have physical activity then we have cognition and then we have happiness mm-hmm. and unless you don't fix the others you can't suddenly fix happiness so mental health cannot be improved if you don't improve your physical and uh, nutrition interesting yes there are so, so many connections between bad sleep and mental health it has you know insomnia and mental health then there is alcohol food junk food intake people you know eat junk because they are mentally stressed Mm-hmm. so all these are connected you can't say mental health alag hai physical health alag hai ye sab ek hi hai and right. that is what ayurveda that is what everybody talks about excellent and that is the goki framework so we have coaches who help you with meditation people who help you with mindfulness yoga breathing we also have psychologists we have counselors we have all kinds of coaches so depending on your situation you can go to the various coaches and get those kind of advice excellent i think that is that is the holistic development that you actually mentioned about that's so amazing so uh, now my next next question is you started your journey at the as a teenager with gaming and now again have come back uh, to to the your gaming and now it is going to the e sport level uh, by launching fauji uh, and uh, again you are extending association with akshay kumar who is uh, who is been with goki and now pauji uh, for you so how do you think uh, that can actually impact the e sport world and where do you think uh, because since you are one of those uh, pioneers or also the thought leaders in gaming how do you think that can be extended to to e sports now so first of all like i said that i believe goki is also gaming so goki is it's just yeah. gaming a different part of your life it is what we call meta gaming and meta gaming is going to be a much bigger theme gaming applied to different applications but coming back to gaming in the true form 
Uh, clearly, the vision with what we are doing at 4G at Encore Games is to create what we call Indian or Desi entertainment. Right. The problem is, if you see Netflix, if you see Amazon Prime, if you see movies, what are the number one movies? It's all Indian content. Right. While Game of Thrones is big, but India may Game of Thrones dekhne wale thode hi log hai. Matlab ninety percent, ninety nine percent of India doesn't understand Game of Thrones uh, or Narcos. Right. Indians understand Mirzapur. Yes. So the bottom line is even with gaming today, if you look at the top ten games, except Ludo, everything else is alien. You yeah. know, everything else is made in China or Korea or somewhere else and is being marketed here. And I'm not saying they are not good games; they are amazing games. But this is not what uh, average Indian growing up in Gurukul is going to associate with. Right. Like you know, chicken dinner uh, is not something which people have in India. So the bottom line is that uh, while these games have their market and they will continue to do well, I believe that there is a bigger opportunity with creating local content. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Forgy is one such attempt, and Forgy is all out Indian Army. We are going to have real battles and depict them, and of course we will do some amount of our own visualization. But that is the idea. And similarly, taking that to esports will be much more bigger. Uh, in fact, uh, I don't know if you are aware, but esports was actually launched by India Games way back in 2002. Yes, 2004. We were working on World Cyber Games, uh, WCG. So that is WCG is the grand great grandfather of esports. But before even the word esports came, it was WCG. Right. So I have seen the esports world very closely, and uh, as I said, that there is of course going to be a market for all these international games. But we believe that as uh, you know, games get popular in India, there will be a market for Indian esports too. Right. Uh, similarly, we launched another game recently called Tappi. Tappi hmm. is a musical game based on Indian music again. Okay. Uh, so you can actually so there are these tiles which are falling and you're supposed to beat on these tiles, uh, and we are licensing some of the best Indian music. Uh, we are doing a cricket title. We are doing other titles. So our whole theme is about uh, you know giving what Indians want with the Indian flavor. Okay, interesting. I think that that and the way e-sport is growing and uh, we have seen so many companies coming and launching their uh, tournaments and everything. I think that is and e-sport has athletes have. Uh, started coming very big, and uh, it is expected to be part of the next Olympics. Uh, so we've been talking about making it part of Olympics in 2004. Okay, so now the so the, related to that question, that uh, you've been uh, been an innovator at multiple places, and uh, uh, as well as the 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 Nokia's uh, gaming uh, uh, innovation center where you are advisor, you International Gaming Federation, you are part of. that and runs the mumbai chapter for them so there is a innovation which is in your dna how do you think the current breed of entrepreneurs which are coming up the aspiring entrepreneurs in india the way shift is happening towards india is looking at innovation are they looking at the right problem or they are the, what they are trying to do itself is fundamentally wrong see i think people need to look at the problem much more closely For example, in my case, the reason I did Goki is because I went through my own health and fitness transformation, and I saw the challenges. Uh, the reason I am doing Encore Games is because I can see that there is no other game in the market today, and I play games myself. A lot of times, people do not do these things themselves, and they are reading some report or reading some blog or listening some video, and some people are saying, "Esports me, both paisa hai, chalo esports karte hain." और आजकल सब लोग रियल मनी गेमिंग और फैंटेसी गेमिंग यही सब कर रहे हैं विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द बिजनेस विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द प्रॉब्लम एंड द बेस्ट एग्जांपल आई वांट टू गिव यू इज दैट देर आर पीपल ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर हॉस्पिटल्स एंड डॉक्टर्स बट वेन आई हेज दैम दैट वेन वॉज द लास्ट टाइम यू विजिटेड हॉस्पिटल एंड you know they don't have words to say सो माई क्वेश्चन इज दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस द प्रॉब्लम आईदर that you should experience it first hand or you should be with those customers experiencing the problem india is the land of problems there are a billion problems so there are a billion opportunities so people are not looking at the real problems so uh, so my last uh, uh, coming to the last segment last question uh, rather uh, which is mo- we moved from gaming to fitness now to entrepreneurship uh, what what is your message uh, beyond what you said not looking at the problems what do you think is required for the 
द स्पोर्ट्स टेक और फिटनेस और हेल्थ टेक ऑन्टरप्रनर्स टू लुक एट और बिल्ड कैपेबिलिटी इन दैम टू एक्चुअली go after the right segment because this is the sunrise industry for india our uh, west world has has improved but it is very much sunrise for india when it comes to the sports health and fitness so how can they make their careers in this and uh, what is that they should be looking at so i would say that you know there are two approaches to solving a problem or creating a solution one is what i call provider centric approach so if your customer is a hospital or a doctor or a school or a college or a institution or your customer is the actual user themselves okay a lot of times people confuse these two things that who is your customer mm-hmm. and if you do not understand who your customer is and what are their requirements you will never be able to create a solution okay for example we at bookie are very clear that our customer is the end user we are not making any money from doctors or hospitals or any of this right which means we don't have a conflict of interest with our customers mm-hmm. so when we tell our customer have this sub- supplement or buy this product or take this doctor advice the customer knows we don't make commission from there we are only making we only make money when the customer becomes healthier so we have aligned our our success to the customer success now the problem with a lot of models is while they want to say are i want to make you healthy but reality is they say i get commission when the doctor booking happens or i get commission when the medicine is given so the minute you are on a model where you make money from the provider centric business that is the problem and you know so many companies you know who do the doctor listing platform and doctor appointment platform and all of that and you can see they are all struggling because consumer does not trust them consumer thinks when a rating dala in and rating nikal diya because wo doctor ne isko paisa diya tha wo customer always has that feeling because they think that i am free so who is paying them it's the doctor so i think this in the model of health and fitness this is one key thing of conflict which businesses have to look at the second thing is outcome centric models are extremely important mm-hmm. so in goki your entire business is outcome centric because if you do not improve your health you are not going to continue with goki subscription so we make money not on selling you the hardware we make money on the services business which is all about making you healthy and continuing the platform and clearly the outcome based business is much more tougher but that is the long term sustainable business for example there are these many weight loss businesses which say are 5 kilo aapka wazan kam ho jayega aap hamara join kar lo 10 kilo kam ho jayega it's a complete disaster because 99% people fail at losing weight and then they will not blame themselves aapne to unko bola tha ye mat khao wo bolega ye aap hi bakwas hai ye company chor hai because consumer will not so making a promise which the outcome you can't meet is the worst thing to do in a day like in goki we never make a promise that we will make you lose weight we say that we will make you walk more steps agar aap pehle 4000 chalte to abhi 5000 chalo so you are winning so the concept is can you make your customers win or can you make a promise to your customers ki keto diet plan le lo aapka 10 kilo wazan chale jayega wo alag baat hai ki jaise keto diet choda 15 kilo wapas aa jayega yes so a lot of the healthcare businesses are become either weight loss ya aisa because these are very easy promises to make but very difficult to fulfill correct correct so i think as as an entrepreneur you should look at what promises that you make and what how do you have a written uh, continuous customer uh, who becomes loyal to you i think that is what something and like i said some promises are very easy to make and you will get customer also but they will never come back correct the re- retaining customer or returning customer is is where you earn your the biggest buck so a uh, great uh, so uh, this is so amazing to talk to you vishal about uh, the whole journey as well as your vision about uh, the gaming as well as the fitness industry or and or the way said health health industry uh, but you been an athlete you were a volleyball player for state and national as you mentioned earlier and we have also read about it what is that one thing comes to your mind about since this is a sports channel as well so this is uh, one thing that really makes you feel good about india and the sporting future of india i see definitely more kids taking up to sports i think sports is no longer 
पहले क्या था इट वॉज इफ यू आर अ क्रिकेटर ओनली यू कुड मेक मनी एवरीथिंग एल्स वॉज यूज बट टूडे पीपल हैव सीन सडनली न्यू मॉडल्स ऑन कबड्डी ऑन बैडमिंटन टेनिस इन हॉकी इन फुटबॉल सो द गुड न्यूज इज दैट इंडिया इज सडनली थिंकिंग बियॉन्ड क्रिकेट एंड देर आर साइजेबल यू नो मेरी कॉम इज ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ऑफ सो मेनी ब्रांड्स नाउ विच अगेन प्रूव you know so i think the good news is that the sports beyond cricket are getting a lot of recognition similarly participative sports like marathons and cycling are all getting extremely popular and if you look at uh, you know mumbai and pune and uh, i don't know about delhi but bangalore the running culture and the cycling culture and the trekking culture is becoming bigger and bigger so there is a lot of interest in participative sports too so i would say that clearly across the board there is a huge interest awareness uh, and uh, i just hope that this is eventually going to translate in india winning more olympic golds and i think as we will see more and more olympians out of india uh, you know you will see this entire sports culture take over the country and i think you know that is the vision of the prime minister right you know fit india like today if you look at india the image of india is you know people eating gulab jamun and samosa and you know nobody thinks of india as you know people where there are healthy and athletic yes so that needs to change excellent uh, i think so that was so bang on and uh, that is so true for us to make a difference and uh, the way sports is growing and uh, very well said about it going beyond cricket and people are started making careers we know pv sindhu is one of the top athlete the popes have taken note of the one of the top athletes uh, in the world female athlete in the world and uh, you said forgot mary com and kadambi shrikant so many players are coming up and i think it's a it's a encouraging side and uh, but for sports health and fitness goes as, as a bundle together and for that uh, i think uh, companies like goki are going to be play a significant role for people also who are going to be part of the sporting ecosystem overall uh to understand what it takes to be there so wonderful talking to you it was uh, thank okay. you for your time uh, you. wish you all the best and uh, for and for more and more ventures more and more innovations and uh, keep guiding so many entrepreneurs who come to you for guidance thank well, the you last thing i want to tell all the entrepreneurs out there is please take up sports <laughs> i think if you really want to be healthy be fit and also uh, learn a little bit about uh, how practice is what is required to uh we do that something right you just can't uh, in cricket or any sport practice something once and master that it right you can't you have to keep at it and yes. you still lose you may still fail so so well said really really appreciate that thank you vishal and uh, take right. care stay safe and talk to you soon thank you thank you for watching thank you for liking and thank you for sharing but please do subscribe on our channel sportsy says and help us spread the word about sportsy let's talk sports we go with the same handle sportsy says across all social media platform do subscribe to sportsy says and help us spread the word mm-hmm.